Hello and welcome Scorpios. Okay, so let's see what your energy is for the month of July. And then we're going to go with shadow and light, I think. And we'll do a, a clarification with a tarot. So what is the energy or... I use this for emotional support as well. So you'll see me use this. We have Poe. Time for change, to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. That is like a mouthful of a sentence just to go, this is Poe. There's something about maybe social media or gadgets that are something, something's coming out maybe in July, I have no idea. But it's something about change. So you're, there's time for change. So it's time to go, you know what, time to upgrade stuff here. Time to upgrade so it may not technically be like, ooh, I've just predicted you guys are getting all getting iPhones. Uh, we have the five of cups. So for your energy. So with the sense of time for change and learning something new, maybe you are finally realizing, Scorpius, that you're like, oh, I've done nothing. Look at all the stuff I haven't done. And then there's two cups there going, but look at what you have done and look what you can do. You can take these cups and fill them, if that makes sense. It's not just all about, hey, you're going to get, a, a, I'm going to say an iPhone, because that just sounded like, hey, I've just predicted you guys are getting iPhones this month. No, not the case. It's more like learning something new and getting with the times and staying up to date with things. Oh, excuse me, I just had some uh, Pepsi. So I'm like, Ugh. so let's see what is coming up for you guys. Gonna go past, present, future, three, like nine, yeah, three cards, three rows of three. That's oh, right, nine cards. The star, this is the past line. Move you guys there. So we have the star, I'm mean, off camera there, that's great. So we have the star, move you. Making sure we have enough room. Ace of Swords. And the world. Okay. So your past was... Your lot of wishfulness and taking action and getting out there because you got the answer so easily. Now, the star is all about wish fulfillment hopefulness and it is about balance in some cases because of the way she's pouring the water in and out keeping that flow going and yeah so with that ace of swords she's very you're very like rash and not thinking straight um and with the star maybe that kind of balance of you know hopefulness and prosperity has brought that back to life and you're kind of going yes i can do it the world is mine that kind of attitude but the world is kind of like saying it's time for a change in order for the change you have to have the confidence to do it. this is what happened so this is in the past scorpios um and with that world you know, you're learning to assure like success in your life. So this is what's happened. So this is your past. So this has already happened. So let's see what is coming up for you guys presently. So that was the past. Now we're going on to the present. Whoa, they just leapt out. Too many cards left out at once there. King of Swords. For present, Queen of Wands. She's jumping out a lot. And the Three of Pentacles. So, presently, you took that sword and made the initiative of going for it, taking those chances, you know, and with the King of Swords. Let me see now. Okay. So 
Whatever arises out of the situation. It's kind of funny that these two are like polar opposites. And they're they're like the little power couple in this. They're not the exact same suit, but it looks like they are in this, the power couple. Um, the idea of judgment and all is connected. Power, co command, authority, intelligence. You, you just you have the know-how, if that makes sense. You have the know-how of how to rule, but it's also my way or the highway. Either there is a king of swords in your life, which could be an air sign, or this is you. Uh, taking charge of this and the queen of wands is she's more easy going than the king than the king of swords so let's just say that but she's like did you get your work done good go and have your fun now and but if you come to her asking her to do the work for you she'd be like no 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 this is your th this is your goal not mine that's how she sees things she's very homely uh she's not as homely as a, pe a queen of pentacles you know i'm going to say that and then with that three of pentacles you're building a foundation and you're learning something with these two uh court cards here i was gonna say majors for a second let's see what that is about I'll elaborate on this i want to see what that king is on a uh, king and queen are on about so we have a five of wands so this conf this authority figure in your life for the month of june um there's a bit of sparring going on like it's it's not like fighting like you're not punching each other in the face it's more like you have a difference of opinion and you go to a queen of wands for that kind of security six of cups so this queen has been in your life for a long time so it's either a mother figure but she's been part it could be a childhood friend who's just gotten up in in their career kind of thing you know could be that gone up in the world and you need help with this maybe they need their expertise in the sense of how to deal with a king of swords um the king of swords could be a father figure so it could be your actual father could be an uncle could be someone in work could be anything like that you know a male figure and then with the queen of cups queen of cups because <laughs> looking at cups that's why with the queen of wands we know that she is she likes to get things done, but she's always, she's loyal. She's very loyal. And then with that three of pentacles, we see it's building a foundation or you're saving for the four of wands here. There's something going on for a wedding or a party or a celebration coming up in July, uh, presently. So some of you Scorpios are going to a wedding or a party. So it could be like, when I say a party, it could be like a, big 21st a 30th 40 50 those kind of ones the big numbers and that's what is probably going on here with this nostalgia of the six of cups so i wanted to see what was going on there because i was like that's a bit bland and vague going someone's authority this person is like very doable doing likes doing things uh in the future we have the seven of swords i'll scoot the camera in a second um whoa and then the one that leapt out was the Eight of Swords. That literally fell onto my lap. And then we have the Devil. So I'm going to scooch, turn the camera a bit. So if I move any further on the edge, that's what's really concerning me. Um, so with the um, future here, we see that you again you were very nostalgic here so this makes sense that you're very nostalgic with this queen of wands this person who's a fire sign queen, wands are usually fire um you're seeing what you have accomplished with them but you're not seeing where you're going so that's why this the seven of swords is like hey look at the swords i've put behind me i feel great about it but you're not seeing where you're going and when you do do that you realize you kind of caught yourself in a trap or an obstacle you can't get out of so you kind of think oh my god i can't get out of this and i want to see what is that seven of swords on about the magician came up so you're not seeing your skills i feel you're not seeing your potential you're just seeing what you have done because yeah i've done that i feel great about it yeah but do you see where you're going because of these skills do you not see where 
it can go do you not see what has happened and the magician is like the most well balanced person but if he's like being guided by a seven of swords of course he's going to trip and fall um now let's see what's the story with that eight of swords sometimes i don't do elaborations and sometimes you have strength so with this obstacle in your way you will have the strength to see past it in the in, uh, in the month of July, uh, Scorpios. You will see have the strength to, you know, get past it and learn to take the blind path, untie yourself, pick up the swords and walk around them. You just can't do that at this point, but you will eventually. And then we have this devil card. So someone has a, what's it called? Has a leash on you. Either the King of Swords or that Queen of Wands pr presently. Whoa, that left. I think it was a Nine of um, Pentacles that fell. Get that. Ugh. But yeah. Oh, two of them fell, actually. Hold on. Yeah, we had a Nine of... No, it wasn't. It's was a Page of Pentacles. Interesting. So we'll go with the page of pentacles that fell. <laughs> he was, he fell at first. So with the devil, someone has a leash on you and is telling you to do things their way. I feel like it's this king has come back into your life and has said, hey, guess what? You owe me. You owe me big time. And you have to learn for this. But with the page of pentacles, you're learning a lot about career and about life in general you'll learn from this so in a way you're kind of learning from that king of swords who's manipulating you or for someone else in the future who's going to be worse than that king of swords and you're like oh, i wish i had that king of swords in my life so that's actually a really sad outcome but it's kind of like just saying that someone is manipulating you it doesn't mean going to be possessed or something like that it just means yeah they're going to be taking advantage of you so let oh hello let's see your emotional support this one like left off so for we're going to do these rows here because this is present this is future the past has happened there's nothing you can change about it. so let's see now so with the king of swords and the five of wands we had ghost of the past the past returns for a time so clearly this is someone in your life and we can see with that you're waiting you're you feel trapped and you feel like you're always defending yourself with this king of swords so maybe this queen this queen actually comes back for a time to help you out which is nice that makes the nostalgia bit there and makes sense what's this, the emotional uh support there for you oh come here lantern fairy a clear solution a clear solution here is showing you that this queen of wands where it's an aunt a mother a person in work a friend someone who's been in your past since a childhood maybe they are the solution for you they help you give that solution in order to build a foundation for for a wedding or any celebration really so there's some sort of celebration out of this uh out trick or treating we're he we're here so it's kind of like you have a bit of fun we're here so it's just the way they wrote here is like like here like a real spooky um so it shows you that you're out for a bit of fun but at this wedding or this party you will see who's out treating and who's out tricking if that makes sense who's there for fun and who's there for gain that's the downside of those kind of family matters um with the seven of swords and the magician we have go to the pumpkin patch count your blessings so clearly the seven of swords is doing that he's counting all the swords he puts behind going look at what i've done huzzah and then you have the skills but you're not seeing where you're going because you've done those skills so count them count them as a blessing that you have the skills you have the ability to move on and then with the eight of swords and the strength card 
we have mid mildew fairy clean up time it makes sense that actually makes perfect sense because with this obstacle that you've made for yourself you feel trapped mentally you will have the strength to get out of there but you need to start cleaning up what's happened now you're cleaning up the clean up the swords or clean up the rope clean up your mental health if that makes sense clean bill of health then with the devil and the page of pentacles we were saying that someone is manipulating you or taking advantage of you and the page of pentacles is always i say pages are students they're students with their suit they're meant to be learning and when they learn they gain knowledge so with that we have the grumpy red fairy be your true self so you're learning that this is a gain for you it's not like a punishment it's a gain this whole thing will be a gain a really big gain for you now let's see what your energy is for um the these oracle cards what's the energy you'll gain from these emotional outbreaks path so we have the path for the ghost of the past this is meant to happen you're meant to rebel against this king of swords scorpios and don't forget like your energy the overall energy for the reading was poe just learn something new and what was it learn something new time for a change time for a change like it's time for someone to be on that throne rather than this king because clearly it's not working and this is your path you're meant to contact or come into contact with that queen of wands or someone who has an authority in a kind of a softer sense um for to like you know put that king of swords in this place but again with the ghosts of the past they only return for a time so it's a small bit of peace because they will come and go it happens queens have to go back to their kingdom uh with the lantern fairy we had uh, a clear solution which is the queen of wands and the six of cups and we have darkness kind of ironic that the energy <laughs> the energy for the lantern fairy was darkness so you felt like you're in the darkness but sh this fairy is like the solution to your problems this is a time of this is presently so presently scorpios you are feeling a bit trapped you're feeling a bit you know you're feeling a bit what's the word lost that's the word i was gonna say disconnected but you're not because you're connected to that queen of wands um for the what was it three pentacles and the four of wands which is building a foundation there's a wedding coming up there's family and the oracle was out trick or treating we're here it's like someone is taking the spotlight or you you find out who's there for a game and just to mess around do you know and we have the resilience so you will have resilience against these people in your life or the people who want there to be like hey i was there i feel more important than the person whose day this is that kind of thing and then with the go to the pumpkin patch count your blessings we had the seven of swords and the ma ma magician the meh 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 magician this is going on for ages and we have beauty um so you're seeing you're counting the blessings and maybe this time is like to more kind of self-love and not vanity but have that kind of sense of i feel great about myself and i have the skills i just need to like i'm grateful that my health is fine i'm grateful that i feel confident in my body that's what you feel like scorpios whoa and two jumped out we'll take those two so for the mildew fairy we had the eight of swords and strength so you're kind of getting out of that sense of feeling trapped you had the strength to get out of it and then you're cleaning up the mess that you left behind because you're in that kind of trapped state and we have focus 
look at that card and it's just gorgeous focus so you're focusing now on what's more important like what's important is cleaning up everything and thanking those people who have helped you out of that kind of slump if that makes sense and then with the devil and the page of cups we had the grumpy fairy which is be your true self so clearly you saw that you became your true self you broke out of that this is the energy that you're getting now and we have abundance look at that it's gorgeous abundance so you get this kind of sense of abundance now it's not money it's a sense of knowledge you know how to face this king of swords who's now a devil if that makes sense um so i'll leave that there guys that is your july reading i will leave that there and i'll see you all next time